So I've got question 36 here. It says use the digit cards only once to complete these multiplications. I'm going to do two videos, one for the first part and one for the second part. So if I look here, out of these numbers I've got, you need to decide a number that you're going to multiply a fraction by and it will then equal another fraction. I am going to choose the 2 to multiply with, so I'm going to write my 2 here. I'm going to multiply it. When I'm looking at the other numbers that I have, whatever way that I put the numbers together, they're not. if I times any of them by 2, they wouldn't necessarily equal the fraction because 9 is quite an awkward number to actually multiply, especially by 2. So what I'm thinking here is I'm actually going to have to have an improper fraction. So if I were to take b... 3 and the 4, I'd have 3 quarters, and I'd write my equals, and I just want you to think, what digits do we have left? So you can do this at the same time as me, and how am I going to write it as an improper fraction? I have 6 and 9, but the 6 isn't going to be my numerator, otherwise it wouldn't be an improper fraction. So it would look a bit like this. Now, with this question, you're probably thinking, well, they don't equal each other. OK, looking at it like this, it doesn't look like they do, but we need to find the lowest common denominator because um, traditionally, if it was eight, yes, the four would fit into the eight, but the six wouldn't. So we need to find the lowest common denominator that they both um, equally go into. So what I want you to think about is what would the lowest common denominator be? just you can just double ch check out loud you could say would a fit in would 10 fit in what about 12 well we know that 12 is in the four times table and the six times table so if i were to have 12 i'm just going to put my denominator underneath i have this equals here and i want to think how have I got from my 4 to 12? Well, I've had to times it by 3. Okay, so that whatever you do to your denominator, you have to do to your numerator too. So I'm going to times that by 3, 2. So that would leave me with 9. Then, if I do the same here, whatever I do to my denominator, I do to my numerator as well. So I times that by 2, because uh, 6 times 2 is 12. And I do the same to my numerator, and I times that by 2 as well. Hopefully you can see that. 9 times 2 would be 18. So actually, if you look here, I can make it a bit clearer. 2 times 9 over 12 is equal to 18 over 12. That is really tricky, though and is actually thinking slightly outside the box that it's going to be an improper fraction. So that one is really hard work. If you don't understand it, try and watch this video again and then have another go.